Sean Kraken, or John, or Sean Kraken Johnson. Um, he was involved in a, an accident on the first day of the event. Um, there is a GoFundMe out there. I think he has a pretty, fortunately, a long recovery ahead of him, but he's expected to pull through. Um, we'll post the link to that on the message board if it's not already up there. But um, send some some thoughts his way, please. Um, so this year we had 286 total registrations. Wow. We had 185 last time, which we thought was a lot. We had 180, or yeah, 186. We had 182 actually show up at the starting line. Everyone passed their tech inspection. Thank you. And uh, checked in. Through yesterday, we had 160 riders post scores, which was about 20 more than we had thought, just counting on our, on our fingers. So. We had, uh, as of right now, 98 riders that checked in at all the checkpoints out of that. Yeah. And of that group, we had 49 that hit every checkpoint and every bonus. We also had our youngest rider. We had two. One is 19 years old, Adam Tortoise. And we have Casey Weatherford who rode, he's 15. He did the entire thing on a Benelli 135. I think he's on a permit, so he, he, he didn't technically qualify, but he'll be back. So, and once again, we have Mike on 15. Mike not only, he's, he's 79, he rode all the way from Florida to California and then turned around and finished the entire trip. This is Mike's third, fourth cannonball. Fourth cannonball. So he's gonna change his tire tomorrow morning and head back home to Florida. But, nice work, Mike. So I'm gonna turn this over to the Matt and Doug show. <laughs> and we have our top 25 finishers. Which one of you is going first? Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, thank you all. I appreciate everybody here. I really do, love you all. Number 25, Kenneth McAfee. <laughs> Number 24, Scott Donovan. And 23rd, Jeffrey Pearson, Scoot Daddy. And 22nd, we have Carl Freeze, Crazy Carl, number seven. And the 21st position we got from California, Pamela March. Tire thing too, so. Johnny Powell, we got in 19th, we've got Scoop Mommy, Timberley Pearson, and 18th, Garrett Davis, and 17th, Mike Omar, and 15th, Patrick Robertson, 16th, I'm sorry, Mike Lewis, and 15th. Now I'm going to turn it over to Matt. Matt? Some, someone who's more sober than Doug. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we left off on number 14. We have Gavin Williams, writer number 146, the original one. 13th place is Darren Rapko, writer number 208, Vesperado on a 2012 Vespa GTS 300 who is the class winner. In 12th place, we have Seth Hershey, writer number 21, Seth Hershey, on a genuine buddy kick. Better him than us, right? In 11th place, we have Jeffrey Crosby, writer number 210, Anywhere in Texas. Our top 10. We have uh, the, the legend himself, Bin Chung. The Bin Chung, rider number five on a 2010 Honda SH, SH-150. 
In ninth place, we have James Hoyle. Hoyle, excuse me. On uh, rider number 45, Jim H. On a 2020 Yamaha s -Net. In eighth place, we have Jeffrey Etheridge. Rider number 92, right rudder on a 2021 Honda ADV 150. In seventh place, we have Dalton Eldridge. Rider number 202, letter E. On a 2021 Honda ADV 150. In sixth place, we have August Hauser. Rider number 190, slow and steady, Honda ADV 150. In fifth place, the legend himself, Scott Taggart, rider number 44, S. Taggart on the Suzuki Burger 200. In fourth place, we have a class winner, Cody Gloop. Glubla? Rip Rap! Yeah, Rip Rap. Rider number 196, you know him as Rip Rap. Mind the Super Cup. In third place, we have a class winner, Gareth Watt. Wow. Rider number 555, Stadler Wild. I never saw him, he left so early and I left so late that I don't even know what he looks like. All right, in second place, we have Julie Taggart, rider number 43. Jay Taggart on a 2020 Yamaha S Max. And our first place finisher is Ben Ost, rider number 112, Benny. Class winner on a 2018 Yamaha S Max. That is your top 25 for this year's Scooter Cannonball. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'm Benny, for those of you who I haven't met. I've met quite a few of you, but there's a lot of you I haven't, and I'm sure I've forgotten some of the names of some of you I have met. But uh, this has been such an incredible experience. Uh, there's been so much behind the scenes work done too. Uh, we've already kind of thanked them, but it's incredible what you guys do. Um, and you know, it's funny because some people, you know, you, you could easily look at the name Scooter Cannonball and, uh, and think it's an ironic name. But uh, what about all those pansies that are doing the cannonball in cars on the interstate? <laughs> you all are the real deal. This is the real thing. So it has been such a pleasure and such an honor to be out there with all of you for the last eight days. It's just been incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that. So the, the results will be finalized and posted on the website in the coming days. Some of you might be missing a bonus photo or some other detail. Feel free to reach out as we go through them, but we'll get those up. Congratulations to all the riders. Thank you. And, uh... is awesome. Tirelessly for two years putting this all together. This wouldn't happen without him. He's up there now. He's done all the rounds. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! All right, thank you.